welcome back guys and in this video today we are going to look at how we can save the to do into our database and then reflect that new to do on the list so let's get started we have this model pop-up which is picking up the new to do So when I save, I get this console with the date selected. If I change the date, let's say to 25th and save, I get the new date. So this I'm getting inside my home component, which is, you know, uh, rendering the to do list. Okay. So basically the add form, which we had created last time, this add form inside the model is triggering this prop function which is able to get that data and show us so why don't we first create a new api which is able to save that we are getting date and description so in my laravel code we have to do your apis i'll duplicate this i'll make it save the function will be store obviously and let's name it store so open up the controller in here i'll have a store function get the request object and let's validate so i have description which is a required field and it should be minimum three characters and the next one is date this one in particular i'm saying it will come sometimes it's not required which means i don't expect it every time however when it comes it should be a date format so after that i can actually do to do create okay am i sending date yes i do but i think uh, if i look at the to do table it's end date okay so i need to change the create function a bit i can't directly send the post data so this is my post data i'll have ends at this one i'll take from post data again coming as date now i also need the uh user id so so the user id will be from auth user id which is the current logged in id let's ensure we have imported the class I've done that so we create this i think this is default to zero which is fine order is zero and z so we are saving everything required and so the new to do will be to do create and then we will re return the new to do status code will be 201 okay with that done i think the api is kind of ready now let's look at the front end code here we get the data so let's open up first of all the url service add a new url here Save to do URL. I'm sure it's save. Yeah. So this is our new URL. Open up to do service. And in here, let's have a new method. Async save new to do. We can steal quite a bit of the code from here. All right, so we formed the URL, which is URL service dot to do URL, which we just created. Okay, it's API slash to do slash save. So that's done. Then we are making a post call to that URL with the post data. 
now the post data will be basically let's just say con to do equals to do service dot save new to do and we'll save the so I send the data now it's an ajax call so i'll have a sync and an await in here and let's just now console.log to do so once this is done i think we will have the new to do in place let's try that out first my new to do let's say it's due on 25th tomorrow hit save and a new database entry is created it says pending 17 hours which is fine now ideally i would want that to come over here right however the problem is now based on the way things are set up in terms of our components the to-do list is kind of independent it is calling the to-do service on its own on component did mount and it is picking up the to-dos which is going to be a problem because i would want the to-do list to be controlled through here because the add form is also con you know uh, going to respond to this component so why don't we do one thing instead of you know picking the to-dos from here we will get that to do service to pick the to do's from here from the parent component so we have this over here component did mount state i don't need to do that and loading i don't want to set to do service is already added because i'm doing a save in here so these are done to do list i don't require these things however i need to still pass the to do list uh, to this component so what i will do is i'll create a props interface and say to do's prop which will be an array inside it it can be anything this i'll be sending it to this component okay and because we are manipulating the to do um, as part of the state what we will do is this dot set state to do's is this dot props dot to do okay so basically what i'm going to do now is this is the render function i'll take the to do's i haven't added that okay so in my state i have an empty to do array on component did mount i'm calling the to do service and getting that to do list this is similar to what to do list component was doing i have just removed it from this component and taken it here okay and i'm setting the state now because i have this data in my state what i can do is in my render function i can send this to the to do list component like so however i would want this to do list component to render only when you know, there is some data so i'll just say to do length greater than zero only then render it okay if you don't do this right uh, you will land up with a problem where basically if you let's say if we can console it here I just show you so i'm consoling it here and i'm not putting it inside this condition rather i'll put it directly now you can see the console says the array is empty which is kind of strange because if we look at the to-do list right the to-do props does come with the seven items and this is my new to do component uh, to do entry which is you know fine i mean i'm getting that but what will happen is component did mount 
will be called immediately when this is rendered right and this will be rendered even when my to do's is an empty array which i have set in the state and it will only have a length when this service is being called the await is resolved and i'm setting it into the state so that is the reason why we need to do a conditional rendering so to do dot length when this length is more than zero only then i will try to render it now if you see if i do console I have eight elements and my new to do is coming up here so this is fine I think we are able to render it I have changed the architecture a bit on in terms of the components how they are laid out now the last thing which we want to do is when this is available which means I have saved it we will do new to do's let new to do's equals this dot state dot to do's new to do dot push so what are we doing here we are you now getting the to do from the ajax call because you know from the api we were returning the new to do which was created right so we get that to do now for time being we have our entire list of to do's change this oops what is it? too many hints so so i have new to do's of a new variable which has the uh, to do's from the state then i am pushing a new to do rather unshift because i want it on top so i do an unshift and the new to do is added to the list exactly on top okay now let's save however i think there's going to be a problem let's see um, first of all i'll come over here one more to do and hit save okay so this is added i was expecting a little bit of a challenge but i guess because we are sending this through a prop that didn't happen um so now basically we are able to you know add a new to do save it to the database and do all kinds of stuff which are um i would say which are you know required as far as the to do list the edit and delete is pending which we will handle but let's look at the entire thing again so that we have a little bit of clarity so what have we done on the home component we have a new um you know service which is sending the to do data okay to the api we have created an api which handles that request and saves a new entry and sends back the new to do so that to do is added here now because of the architectural problem where we had you know initially that the to do list was loading the data in itself we changed that we said you know you will get a prop which is your you know data to play around with and that data we are sending it from the home component and because we have that control you know the home component is sending the new uh, the entire to do list so whenever this is added we push it to the state and that's how it's propagated as a prop to the to do list and the new um, you know data is visible on this list so yeah this is how we are able to save the to do list if you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.